Hello everyone, welcome to M Class, Move a Liquid, Session 7. I'm Lisa. Today we focus on cross-domain interoperability. In a multi-chain and multi-layer world, assets and messages must move securely and verifiably across domains. Our goal is not forced compatibility, but to elevate cross-domain interactions, from merely usable to auditable, reversible, and reusable, based on trusted proofs and unified interfaces, laying the foundation for broader liquidity reach and ecosystem collaboration. Each theme serves a distinct role. At the asset layer, we focus on lock and mint or burn and mint mechanisms and proof paths, ensuring one-to-one -one correspondence of cross-domain assets. At the message layer, we address who provides proofs, how failures are rolled back, and how malicious behavior is penalized. At the compatibility layer, standardized interfaces and event semantics reduce integration costs. Together, these three layers form a stable interoperability foundation, controlling risk while amplifying coordination efficiency. From an engineering perspective, there are two primary approaches. Light clients verify source chain consensus directly on the destination domain, offering strong security at higher cost. Validator networks trade some trust assumptions for efficiency using threshold signatures or multi-party attestations and require well-designed penalty mechanisms and thresholds. Regardless of the approach, proof inputs and results must be recorded as replayable evidence, enabling rapid isolation and safe rollback when anomalies occur. First, ensure the reliability of the bridging proof chain. Second, minimize trust assumptions at the messaging layer. Finally, scale reuse through standardized interfaces. When these three layers work together, cross-domain operations become both stable and efficient, maintaining business continuity even under extreme market conditions. The conclusion is clear. Anchor cross-domain asset and message flows in trusted proofs, making them verifiable, reversible, and auditable, and then connect ecosystems through unified interfaces. Security comes first, experience follows, and the result is sustainable growth with a broader liquidity radius. That concludes today's session. I'm Lisa. Thank you for watching and see you next time. This is M Class. Here are the 100 blockchain questions you care about most. See you next time.